Okay. Today is my sixth day of my fast. I'm still dealing with all the business of cooking food and smelling it and touching it and not being able to eat it. But it's not quite as bad today, although I'm still really hungry. I haven't weighed myself today. I did weigh myself yesterday, and I lost a pound and a half. It's pretty good. I, I wonder what I'd lose if I was on a diet where you had to just eat a little bit every day and then not get anything, you know. Just, I think I would give up if I was on one of those diets with hardly any calories on them. So I probably wouldn't lose any weight at all. Um, the Atkins diet works pretty good. When you eat a lot, that works. But... In fact, I think I lost weight faster, and I'm losing it on fast, than I did when I was on the Atkins diet, eating tons of bacon and eggs and ham and cheese and whipped cream and all sorts of really delicious food with a lot of calories in it. And I, I would lose like a pound a day. Sometimes I would lose a pound and a half in a day. One time I lost like four pounds in a day. On that diet, because I actually exercised a little bit that day. So this is really weird. I haven't eaten for almost six days now. This is, it's been about five and a half days, and I've only, up until last night, only had lost a pound and a half. So that's crazy. Um, I read a book by Arnold DeVries. It says that you're uh, supposed to lose about a pound a day. Oh, the book is called Therapeutic Fasting, and it is a really good book. It tells you all about fasting, how your all the studies they've done on it, how it works, what your body does when you're on a fast, how it you know eats all the bad stuff in your body, and it will eat your muscles. Your body will feed off of its its own muscle tissues and whatnot. But first, before it starts doing that, it'll start eating bad stuff that your body doesn't need, like you know, especially like cancers, tumors, and uh, like if you have inflamed areas and they have a lot of extra fluid in them, it'll take that fluid out of there. And uh, it's a really good book. It talks, it gives you a lot of details about going on fast and and all the things that fasting has been shown to cure. Like, and, and I've read a few other books too on fasting. Like one was There Is a Cure for Arthritis, and I don't remember the author of that book. And that was more about people going to clinics over in Europe. They actually have clinics that people who have arthritis go to. And they um, they put them on fast, plus they do a lot of uh, hydrotherapy there. And the people will be brought in on stretchers, and they'll, uh, they'll walk away you know, without any pain after they're done being on these fasts. So fasting's good. It's good for you. But it's hard to do. I'm very hungry. I'm not as hungry as I was. And anyhow, the book that I read said that your hunger should go away by the fourth or fifth day. But in rare cases, it doesn't. I'm one of those, apparently. And that your tongue gets really coated. My tongue's only a little coated. So maybe as it goes on, maybe your tongue gets more coated. I don't know. Because it's kind of important, those two things, because the way that you know your body is done being on the fast is that your tongue is supposed to all of a sudden get clear and pink and have like a sweet taste to it. Or your appetite will return. And usually both of those things will happen, but they will happen, you know, maybe one will happen before the other, and vice versa, you know. So, anyhow, they, I don't know how I'm going to know that I'm done with my fast. I am colder. I'm way colder than I normally am. Everybody keeps telling me how hot it is, and I, I'm freezing. And that is one thing, one of the dangerous things of being on a fast is if your body temperature drops down and you can't get it back up, then you're supposed to, you want to stop your fast. Then if even using external like heating pads and heating blankets won't get your body temperature back up, then you want to get off the fast. There was a couple other things. I can't even remember them right now. I think one had something to do with your heart or something. I don't know. I better look it up. Uh, whatever it was, but there's a few things that can make you have to break your fast straight away, and I don't know, the pain in my back, it's still, it's like, it's not like all day long I'm walking around I'm like, like that unless I take pain medicine like it was, like I'm not taking any pain medicine at all right now, but every now and then I just 
burns or stings, and, and it uh, kind of, just every now and then, though, it's not really bad. It's better, it's definitely better than it was when I started the fast this time. So, alright, I don't really have very much interesting stuff to say. Just uh, trying to keep myself accountable, I guess, for making these videos. Not that anyone's watching them. But, uh, so anyways, I, uh, hopefully we'll be back tomorrow to say it's day seven of my fast. And hopefully I won't have eaten as much as the temptation to eat will not leave me. I hopefully will continue on not eat until this pain in my backside thing right over here, whatever it is, is completely gone. And then if it's gone by Christmas, I think I'll actually eat on Christmas instead of doing a 20-day fast. Or until my body says to stop fasting, I think maybe I'll stop then. I don't know. I just don't know how I can make it that long without eating. Especially on Christmas with all that good food there. So, I'll be back hopefully tomorrow. Bye.